Dow Dung, The Little Imperial Chef, written by Lin Shekina, illustrated by Ong Sheng Hua. Long ago in China, there lived a girl named Dow Dow. She loved to cook. Every day, she whipped up a feast for her family. One day, the finest chefs from the all-girls cooking school in the city visited her village. Dow Dow's father decided to enroll her in the cooking school. Her father thought she might cook for the emperor one day. Before she left, she received two gifts, a secret recipe from her mother and a copper coin from her father. The new sights, sounds and smells of the school thrilled Dow Dow. Her fingers itched to cook. However, her seniors Fei Fei and Xiao Xiao told Dow Dow, all you're allowed to do is wash the dishes and sweep the floor. Fei Fei and Xiao Xiao kept a sharp eye on Dow Dow. They picked on her and bullied her. But while Dow Dow was doing her daily chores, she watched other students cook. At night, while everyone slept, Dow Dow would cook soaring eagles, ferocious tigers, and enchanting mermaids. In the 1000 flavors room, she mixed sauces and spices to create new flavors. In the noodle making room, she rolled and pulled dough till her arms ached. Her dishes grew larger and wilder. In her secret corner, she brewed a storm of raging seas, wild jungle boars and deep ocean treasures. One morning, the head chef San Chunyang announced a contest to choose the best dishes for the emperor's birthday banquet. That night, Dao Dao was so eager to try her new recipes for the competition that she grew careless. You wicked girl, always lazing about and daydreaming, now you're pinching food. Fei Fei and Xiao Xiao cornered Dao Dao. Dao Dao protested, no, I'm preparing to join the cooking competition. They laughed, you cook for the emperor? They brought her to San Chunyang to be punished. In three days time, if you can create three dishes that I've not seen or tasted before, I'll let you stay, said San Chunyang. Dao Dao spent three sleepless nights testing and tasting her dishes. Finally, she presented her dishes to the head chef. The first was a beautiful scene sculpted from dumplings. San Chunyang nodded her head slowly. The next dish had a dumpling shaped like a gold ingot. The head chef was surprised to find a copper coin in it. Dao Dao explained, Whoever finds a coin in a gold ingot dumpling will be doubly blessed with prosperity. San Chunyang smiled. The final dish was a teeny weeny dumpling. San Chunyang popped it into her mouth. After a long silence, she spoke. How did you prepare this dish? Dao Dao smiled. This is based on a secret recipe handed down from my mother. They are called pearl dumplings. San Chunyang said, I have never seen or tasted these three dishes before. I will allow you to stay on in the school and you shall be my assistant at the emperor's birthday banquet. Everybody cheered and clapped. San Chunyang directed hundreds of chefs to shape a variety of dumplings for the banquet. The emperor received many gifts, but his favorite were the pearl dumplings. After the banquet, no one bullied Dao Dao again. She learned hard from San Chunyang and grew up to become one of the finest chefs in China. So look children, Hard work and perseverance always sets you through your hardships and gets you to the goal you plan to achieve.